Hey everybody, welcome back. This is a video that I've wanted to do for a while. The oscillating tool from Ryobi is something that comes in almost every kit. And whenever you get it in the kit, it's a, it's a useful tool you can use for sanding, uh, cutting, the various types of tasks that you can complete with this tool is very, very useful. However, when I use this tool, the one drawback that I've always found is that you have to have a wrench and uh, in the center, it's just a five uh, millimeter um, or just a number five Allen wrench that you have to unscrew and screw back on. And the blades wear out fairly quickly. Uh, that got me looking around and I noticed that the head is one of these multiple uh, multi-job heads. You can change the heads out, do different things with it. This particular head is a P5700, 0 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. Uh, I, I just wasn't really happy with this design. It wasn't something that I was looking at. I felt with the times and technology that we had, there had to be a, a, a better way to go. So I started looking around I started searching uh, Google for uh, toolless oscillating tools uh, for blade changes, and I found one that's amazing. The head articulated, uh, it just had a, a little friction pull onto it that you could change the tool out, or I'm sorry, the blade out. It was amazing. The problem was, it was only in Australia, and I couldn't get it over. I mean, I could get it over here for, you know, $300, where it's a you know, maybe a hundred dollar tool. And then I wasn't even sure that the batteries would fit. So I, I didn't want to take that risk. However, you know, I would like to say Ryobi, come on, get it together. I've checked out their tools. Their tools uh, far exceed some of the abilities of the United States tools. I don't know if you're just doing some testing over there, beta testing, you're going to bring it over, but you know, hurry it up. The tools look great. Let's get them here. With that being said, there's still another solution. If you read the top of this, it says Rigid Job Max Compatible. So you can use the other attachments from Rigid on the on the uh, uh, the base tool for the oscillation. And if you look, Job Max actually has a, a toolless blade change head, and it's pretty cool. You so as you can see, you just pull this out, you pull it all the way back. And that allows the tool, and this is pretty cool if you can see this here. It may be hard to see, uh, but this actually rotates straight up. Let me get the blade down, and it comes off. This is a clever design here because the tool, it's a T, um, and this is the locking mechanism. It can fold straight so that even a full uh, type of blade or the base of a blade uh, can slide on, lock into place, and then all you have to do is just, uh, sorry, and then you just pull this and uh, you're locked in, put it back, you're good to go. So if you want to change the tool, very simple, off, on, and you're good to go. So using this job max head, it just snaps on and it, it can go multi-direction. It doesn't have to be this direction. You just push in two tabs here and here and it comes right off. You can switch it to go here or here. Uh, I prefer it here because it does, it does have a light. Right here. And you can't set the speeds on this particular version. This is more of a base version of the oscillating tool. Uh, so it's just a variable speed um, trigger. And then, but you do have directions. Doesn't make a difference with this type of tool, but other tools, when you put the drills or right angle heads on it, uh, it, does, it does have a magnetic base here that you can see. That comes in handy. It comes in really handy, actually. Uh, what I want to do now is let's just do a quick test and let's cut into some wood. First, I'll start with the job max head and then I'll switch over and I'll use the same blade um, onto the uh, regular P570 head and then you can just see how it cuts. And I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to put it in the vise or anything right now.
Okay, so I can say this about the tool. Um, the Job Max head, it, it cut much better. Uh, let's see here. This is zero to 20,000 oscillations per minute. It's the same oscillations uh, per head, but the Job Max cuts um, noticeably faster and better. So <clears throat> that means the components inside, however it's geared, is uh, doing a better job, for sure. Let me just take this blade off. I'm using a uh, multi-material blade as well, just in case you're wondering. Never know what I'm going to cut, and if I do cut through wood and accidentally hit metal, uh, you know, I uh, screw or nail, it just survives it a little bit better. So I have to say, uh, being able to find this Job Max head was a bit of a task. I had to go on eBay in order to find it. So if you're able to find this in stores or you can have a special order, that's probably the best way to go. Uh, but I had to go on eBay. So the information is, is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Uh, the oscillation tool, like I said, is a very useful tool. It's something that comes in handy on uh, a quite uh, daily basis for a lot of different craftsmen and a lot of different homeowners, uh, especially just having the versatility and the type of cuts that you can make. Uh, so I hope this video helped somebody out there, and, and especially if you're really tired of changing heads and you don't want to buy an entire new tool, like, you know, one that has a, a built-in bladeless chain or a toolless chain something like that you want to stick with your old tool just spend you know a couple more dollars i think um i think i did pay fifty dollars for this head i'm sure that you could you know maybe find it cheaper on ebay um, i just uh, picked the one that i could find and and i wanted to make sure that i got it uh, so i hope it helped you uh, if it did please give me a thumbs up please like and subscribe and uh you know god bless everyone and have a happy 2021. Happy New Year's Eve.